the game. <laughs> Across the creek, I'll span the creek like she says. So friends, here we are again on a, you know, situation. You can see that this actually is rotten in here. And it was a codom and old school plucked, it, plucked this one out of here and down there. And he's got that one there. And, you know, we're skidding the stuff out. I was over here earlier today making a mess. And this thing here is, you know, it, it's leaning hard up to the hydro line there. But I'm going to utilize and, and make a judgment call that I, 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 I reckon I can grab a little bit of this. You know, you guys hear me talk about this, this utilizing the lean thing, right? So I'll, I'll show you. So here, here it is in a natural, in the natural eye. Here it is here. It's. You know, all the, all the big bones are out this side. There's actually some weight back. So your natural lay is up here. It's up like way up this way. So I judge my lean from the back of the tree. I always judge my lean from the back of the tree. So natural lay on this tree is up towards that red farm equipment, piece of farm equipment. It's way up there. And, uh, so you either get behind it with something or hang a rope or you throw it, utilize this here a little bit, get your undercut set right and, and go here. But the fear is, the fear is that you got to know your species. You got to know your fiber. This stuff's pretty tough. So I'm just going to throw it side hill like I do every day. I'm just going to throw it over there. But again, your first cut is most important. Your gunner, it's most important. I can't get my power head in there. And you can see, like this is good, good wood. It wouldn't matter if it was just a piece of garbage, but it's not, it's a walnut and it's a nice log. It's a money log. And there is some pullback here, friends, out this way, which again, like I say, is moving us this way and that way. But I'm just gonna put a little undercut. But as I bring my undercut in, if I don't go deep enough, if I don't go deep enough, I'm really not jumping in to, to utilize my lean. I'm not jumping in. Like if I stop my undercut like here, I'm gonna have a heck of a bang, like a hard bang. But if I bring that undercut and drop it underneath the low side of the tree, it's gonna help me cave. It's gonna help me cave. So this is what I mean by your first cut is, it's, it's a gunner, yes, it's a gunner, but it also has a lot to do with that, that line, that one we all know that, you know, where it's gonna go over, is gonna sit back, that line. So we'll just cut it up. It's probably gonna need some coercion. We had a wind up a bit, little bit ago and it was going this way, wasn't it guys? Were you guys fighting that wind this way today? Yeah, that was that last rope. You had to yard that off there. So we do have a wind, but it almost looks like it's almost switched. Leaves are kind of going this way, but we're still back here, so. I was hoping that wind would help me, but uh, we're just gonna cut it up. Um, you wanna do some filming? Yeah. Or you're gonna film anyway, aren't you? Yeah. On your camera. <laughs> hey, old school, when you get a moment and you're done, can I get you to film this for me? Yes, sir. Just film the process? Okay. But yeah. whenever you're ready.
Because you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Here's, here's something that is, is, I know it kind of almost goes against the brain because we're afraid, right? We're all out weights pulling us hard this way and we're thinking, well, I need some wood here to keep that hold me on and swing me around there. So we go down the bottom and we, we go over there and we, we, we cut that bottom side out and we plow a wedge in there and stand her up. And then we come back over and we're cutting our wedges and we're poking and jamming in there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I, I, I don't think the undercut, I didn't want to go too deep, but we ended up flat on that. Oh, let's go. We're flat on that stump. Nice. That's key because that was our zone. So listen to what I'm going to say here. If I break this plate, if I feed this wood, I call it pouring, pour the wood in. I'm going to bust this plate off. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna wanna, it's gonna wanna go this way into its lay. And hopefully, if I do this right, I, I, I think I'm gonna probably have to use a bit of wedgemanship, but I have a pretty good feeling that it's gonna be not much needed. I feel it's, it's just gonna be able to pour this wood in. So my holding wood is gonna go like this, like this. I'm gonna eat all the high wood up and I'm gonna slide around. It's also gonna allow me some wedge room there right away because I needed an undercut here. I didn't want a little teeny little undercut. Does that make sense? Yes, sir.
This was the the perfect outcome on that. The perfect outcome. I talk about steady utilizing the lean. That's a West Coast stump and it's actually a 15. And the reason it's a 15, and I don't know if you guys are up on what we have to deal with in the bush in BC, is the bush cops will come out and they'll grab your undercut and they'll go, okay, let's measure that. Let's measure that. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm. It's they're on you. You're we we are stump makers. Mm. We're stump makers, and and if like you know, I get what's going on here. We're after the money, and that's why these low stumps are so important in skitter logging. We don't have to worry about that where we're from. We just don't. Uh, I'm quite happy with the outcome of that. Yes, sir. Start to, but but I'll, I'll guarantee you this. I will guarantee you this. Guarantee you this. If I had it going like this. And you already know this, I'll guarantee you do. If I had it gone like this, like we're kind of taught this, eh? Let's go get our low side, fellas. Get out, especially with the shorter bar. This is why the long bar is glorious, it's one cut. So the guy, he's thinking about, hey, geez, that's pulling hard. I'm afraid to cut. Guys, there's an inch there. There's one inch of holding wood there. But it's not just one inch. It's a freaking, it's, it's, a, it's a footing. It's a footing right across the stump. It's one big footing. So if I had to come over here and gone like this, okay, started my cut back here and gone, oh, mini, oh, mini, 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 there, okay, I think I got all my whole wood now. I got the bottom side out. What do you think would have happened? That tree would have sat back on me so hard, mm. it would have actually started to pinch me. Clap. It would have. So I'd have been like, oh, damn, I get that saw out of there, mm. blast the wedge in, you see, keep your tip, your, now your tip's off your wedge, you're hitting your wedge and you're trying to bring this tree around. No, no, just if you learn and know your species and know your fiber and all your indicators, which I'm learning now here, well, you just saw it. You just saw it. It's just a piece of hinge wood, no gut, there's no pull. I think that's acceptable here, I don't know. Perfect. That's okay, isn't it? Perfect. I mean, I could, I could cut the guts out, and, and here's another thing with cutting the guts out of these trees. You can, you know, if you're freaked out and you, you want less stump pull and all that. I notice guys will go in and cut their cut their their heartwood out, or they can also once they get that back cut and they're started. And you're here, you just just get it from here because mm. you're on a pulling chain still. You're, you're just on you're you're on a pulling chain. You're not kick, 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 and hammering that wood. Just work on a pulling chain. Go in there, poke through, and just brrr, pull the heart out, slip out, go around. Mm. So I just like sharing the stuff. Mm. I just do. I, I enjoy. Does that make any sense, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, good. I hope yes, not. sir. Just wasting my air because Ooh. this was taught to me by you know the older dudes. Yeah, yeah. But on on side hill, big hard. See, if this was cedar, red cedar, or say one of your species that doesn't hold on like this, it's a different play. It's a different play. You probably want to prop that bottom side up. Wham a wedge in there. Get this. Get this sunk down. Get that plate sunk down from lifting here, you're sinking this and making this stronger instead of wanting to tension out and pull away. So when you bury a wedge here and smoke that sucker in there, this top plate that runs to the last leaf on the tree is slamming down into the stump. There's no pull here. There's no pull. Maybe a little bit of there. Mm. But, Minimal. So, you know, it depends on species. Every tree is different. But we would go on the side hill, six foot tree, you wanna go get that low side. You go down there, cause you got, you're on a cliff, so you go get that low side, you know, slam a wedge in, then you come around and you finish on the high side, which we did here. But I chose to feed the, 
feed the tree. And we talked about this yesterday down there. You can make it hard and all I'm talking about is smoothing out your, your sawmanship, just smoothing out the game. Smoothidity. <laughs> and he is raised. Instead of fighting this, fighting all that. Yeah. We turn it into a log now. <laughs> Perfect. Be his own man. Be free. 